Hello guys, welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. In last episode, we met Salvatore Leone and we managed to pick up a dossier for Officer Tenpenny. And this episode now, we're now going to deliver the dossier to Officer Tenpenny. In the last episode, when I went to pick up a dossier for Officer Tenpenny, I actually decided to do the mission a bit stealthy and honestly, it really went to plan. Usually when I play stealth in video games, stealth for me never usually goes to plan, but it actually went right for me for once. I need to find a car. I don't care what car it is, as long as it's a car. Get out the car. As I was saying in the last episode, I decided to pick up the dossier for Tempe. I decided to do it in a stealthy approach. So how I did it was, I picked up the jetpack from the airstrip and I decided to fly over the mountains where I could see the town. I stuck in through the town and I managed to find the guy who was carrying the dossier. I shot him, picked up the dossier as quick as I could and... Yeah, the mission was over just like that. I managed to complete the mission literally just like that. That's the first time I've ever actually completed that mission stealthy in this game, to be fair. I didn't think it was actually possible to beat that mission stealthy, to be honest. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with how well I did that in the last episode, actually. I literally did it stealthy, and it actually really it actually went to plan. I'm very impressed with that. So now we've got a dossier, we now need to deliver it to Officer Tenpenny. Not that I really want to do this, but unfortunately we've got no choice. Officer Tempe will eventually get what comes to him, we just got to be patient and... Yeah, his time will come. We'll find the opportunity to kill Tenpenny when the time comes, we just got to stick it out for now. Hope we didn't keep you waiting, Holmes. No, nah, I was just chilling. <laughs> I bet you were. At the dossier, hand it over. Hey, everything cool now? I don't know, Carl. Eddie? Ah, our boy's done good. <laughs> you snitch piece of shit! You vato asshole! You sold us out! <laughs> Time to dig, Carl. You take care of things. Huh? Where are you going? To get drunk and get laid. You got a problem with that? No, Frank, relax. Good. I'll see you back at the precinct. And I'll see you in the next life, Carl. That's good. That's deep enough for two. Eddie, Tampenny's just using you. He's using all of us. <sighs> You're the next one he's gonna silence, man. Shut the fuck up, scum! And it's Officer Pulaski to you! Fucking die! Officer Pulaski's making a run for it. I don't think so. Well, at least we get to feel finally kill one of these police officers. Woo! Bumper cars! I can't lie, though. This mission... I suck at this mission. This mission, though... Yeah, this mission has had me failing many times in the past. But at least you get to kill Polanski, though, so... There's that, at least. Yeah, this mission is a very frustrating one. I'm just gonna try and ram into him and just... Oh, is he turning over? Hey, Eddie, you know Thanks, man. You oh, I just wanna keep him pinned, somehow. Keep shooting at him. He's a smart fucker, this fella. Managed to get quite a few good shots in him. That's not going to be enough damage to him, but... Yeah, I've, this mission's had me failing many times in past. Just because he's, he's got a very strong car as well. Not only that, this guy could seriously drive as well. When it comes to driving, this guy really isn't bad for a cop. I feel like the best way to take this guy out would be to like push him off a hill or something and get lucky. There probably are much better ways to do this. Oh, there's a river right here. See if I can push him in. I want to be very careful. I don't want to push myself in. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. Wait, well, he's not stuck, but... Ah, damn it. I thought I could have him there for a second. And my vehicle's already smoking, which... 
that just decides the strength between mine and his vehicle. The fact that I have to use this vehicle. Well, to be fair, you don't have to use this vehicle, but this is literally the only vehicle in the town when you um, chase after Plensky. If Plensky gets too far away from you, the mission will fail, so you've got to stay on this town, unfortunately. Don't fucking talk about my mom. The boys, you know, they fooled around with her at the scene, you know, touching her, joking around and shit. Yeah, I mean, this mission's been a very frustrating one for me in the past. This mission, for, in my eyes, you could say it's basically... Well, basically the GTA San Andreas version, San Andreas' version of the driver mission from Vice City. This mission can be that frustrating, in my opinion, anyway. I don't know if it's just me that struggles with this mission, but... I mean, this mission is an irritating one. He's got a very strong car as well, which is ridiculously overpowered. Tell you what, I want that bike. I want that bike. Well, I've got to make sure he doesn't get too far away from me. It's going to be so much easier to drive by on a motorbike. I can shoot in front of me as well. It's much easier to chip away damage of his car. I've got to make sure I can get some good shots in on him. Come here. The amount of times I've shooting him and he's still like... Okay, at least the car's doing a bit... Okay, we got a bit of smoke coming out now. I had about 360 bullets in my, in my submachine gun. Now I've nearly got less... Now I've got half... Less than half of that. His car is ridiculously strong. And that's what makes his mission really frustrating. The fact he can seriously drive as well. It does wind me up. There we go. He's making a run for it. I don't think so. <laughs> Not feeling so fucking full of yourself now, huh? <coughs> yeah, well, them's the brakes, fuck. Any last requests? Yeah. <laughs> Can I fuck your sister? You an asshole to the end. Punk motherfucker. Well, that's one less police officer to worry about. <laughs> this vehicle's back. Haha. <laughs> I blew it up and it's back. I can actually drive it. As I'm driving now, it's probably not going to be as strong, but... Oh, well. There's no mission available, so I'm expecting some sort of phone call now. Hello? You've hung us up to dry, I know it. Rosenberg? Yeah, soon to be wearing concrete shoes in a shallow grave in the desert, Rosenberg. I'm surprised you remember. Look, I ain't forgot y'all, man. Just hang in there. Easy for you to say. This Salvatore guy might whack me at any moment. Uh, it sounds like Ken's in trouble again from Salvatore. All right. So how far is Salvatore from here? Uh, he's not too far, actually, to be fair. I might be able to... Tell you what, I'm going to cut ahead when we get to Salvatore's place. Can you imagine one of these missions if we turn up and we see Ken Rosenberg dead on the floor and Salvatore's killed him? Just feel the weight of the weapon, sweetheart. <laughs> I can feel the weight of someone's weapon. Hey! You don't want to blame on that front. Can I fucking go now, or fucking what? Ooh, you fucking twat! Right in the fucking happy sack! Perhaps you'll be cured of your little anti-social condition, mate. Carl, my man. Mr. Leon? Looks like this piece of shit was right. You did a real number on those Ferrelli losers. Now it's time the Ferrellis found out what it means to screw with Salvatore Leon. How would you like to hit the St. Mark's Bistro? A hit in Liberty City? Cool. But I'ma need some backup. Take who you want. Well, I usually use these two. Hey, hey, remember all those jobs we did together? Huh? Huh? You and me, Carl, remember? Huh? You know, you used to call me Killer Ken. Ken the Killer? Killer? Ice Cold Ken. That's me. Shut up, Ken! And him too, I guess. All right, you guys better get out of Los Venturas fast. I'll be in touch. What about your backup, man? Will you be all right without us? Of course he will, you fucking moron! Come on! Get to the airport. Honestly, I'd much rather do this on my own. Oh, my bike's not outside anymore. Oh, that's a shame. All right, let's find a vehicle. Let's get to the airport and let's go to the Liberty City. Honestly, I really like this mission, actually. When I first played this mission, I was not expecting... This mission to take place in Liberty City, sort of. You only get to explore St. Mark's Bistro in Liberty City, but at least you get to ex explore like a little tiny bit of Liberty City, literally like St. Mark's Bistro, and that's it. But we're literally now going to hit the Ferrelli's home turf in Liberty City.
St. Mark's Bistro was the pub Sonny Ferrelli was hanging around in at the start of GTA Vice City. That's the pub we're going to hit. So Salvatore Leone found that Ken Rosenberg did a job on the Ferrellis back in 1986. Well, honestly it wasn't Ken. We got Tommy Fassetti to thank for that. Not Ken Rosenberg. I mean, I think Salvatore Leone would get on quite well with Tommy Fassetti, to be fair, considering Tommy Fassetti's history with Sonny Ferrelli. Okay, this should be a plane here. So the jet is at the end of the runway. Get into it and fly into Liberty City. Yeah, let's go to Liberty City. Liberty City is a city where GTA 3 is going to take place, so that's a city we're going to be exploring in the next game. But for now, let's go make a little trip to Liberty City. A little bit, a little bit of an early trip to Liberty City. Fly to Liberty City. All right, let's go. Hopefully we don't bump into Claude and Catalina when we're out there. Can you just imagine that? Catalina will be like, I knew you could resist CJ. And then CJ will be like, oh no. <laughs> That's what Catalina would think, wouldn't it? So I think we all know Catalina has a bit of a soft spot for CJ. And CJ just... CJ really needs to change his phone number. All right, let's get to Liberty. I need to get high enough then we can fly out into Liberty City. Evil trade with St. Mark's Bistro, give a little, do a little job on the Ferrellis, and we'll fly back and give Salvatore the good news. So if we head out far enough, we'll eventually leave, see a cutscene where we'll take us to Liberty City. Private function, invitation only. Oh yeah, when Mr. Leone says otherwise. Okay, we, we haven't been here very long, we're already in a bit of a shit. Hello. Okay, I've still got weapons, that's good. Well, this is pre-9-11, so obviously in pre-9-11 world you will be able to take guns on a plane, but still. Things like the pre-9-11 world, what you could take on a plane was pretty extraordinary back in those days. Oh crap, there's more of them. Okay, we're not quite out of the woods yet. Okay, that was close. There's gonna be some enemies down there. I ain't got any throw I ain't got any grenades, have I? Got to be very careful with this. I hate this music playing in here right now. Let's see if I can shoot this guy's head. It'd be so cool if Tommy Fassay would tag along this kind of mission, I wouldn't it? That would be pretty cool. If that happened, that would be I'll be like, okay, this mission's the best. This mission will end up become my favourite mission in San Andreas if that was the case, and there's a guy with a shotgun. There better be some health down there. He's got a shotgun as well, it's a perfect weapon to ambush you with. Where is this guy? He's behind that counter, isn't he? I'll try and get a good shot on him, so I need to be very careful. Ah! Okay, now I made it back to the BC, I just got to watch out for this shotgun fella. I'm going to go in the corner and take him out that way. There we go, that got him. Okay, that was the shotgun guy there. Okay, we finally got him at least. Oh, I hope there's some health around this somewhere, I really hope there is. Oh, there's two shotgun enemies. I need to be very careful now then. Okay, I think we're clear. Maybe not. Oh, I was close. I don't know if he was a shotgun enemy, so I want to be very careful just in case he is. No, he wasn't. Just good job he wasn't a shotgun enemy. Okay, so far so good. Lost a lot of health, but we're still alive.
Okay, it's going to be quite a few enemies down here, I think. There he is. There's my target. They're waiting for me. Did he not die? Got him. Is that all of them? Oh, there's never down there. Shoot him. Is he dead? He's coming to face me. I don't think so. We got him. So all of them? Fly back to Las Ventures Airport. And just like that, our time in Liberty City is over. Oh, that was a shame. I do enjoy that mission though, to be fair. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that mission to take place in Liberty City when I first played this game. That was a very fun mission. I did enjoy that one. Definitely better than the mission where we're chasing off Polanski, that's for sure. Trying to find the airstrip. So I think when we land on the airstrip, that mission going to be done. And yeah, Salvatore Leone. At least we proved our worth to Salvatore Leone. Okay, I can see the sea, I think. Yes, I can. Okay, so we must be close to Last Ventress. I managed to do that with little health remaining as well. Yeah, those shotgun enemies really caught me off guard there. The first attempt. But luckily I still come in the second attempt. It just went all my health still, but at least I managed to kill him. So I'm going to turn this way a little bit so I can land on the airstrip properly. So I don't want to crash into a building or a crane or anything while trying to land on the airstrip. This must be the airstrip here. This is flight CJ-101 out of Liberty City. Requesting final approach to Los Venturas International. Over. Flight CJ-101, you are clear for landing on runway three. If the police can't stop you. Stop. You must be on. We've done it. Nice. Back from Liberty City. Okay, so... Who's calling me? Hello? Hey, call my boy. Mr. Leone. Everybody's talking about the job you did on that St. Mark's Bistro. Thank you, Mr. Leone. And you, uh, you took care of those three loose ends? Yeah, those poor saps ran into a little trouble along the way. You won't be hearing from Mr. Rosenberg again. Good boy, good boy. Now listen, you're going to have to keep a low profile or people will start to make connections. So let's keep our distance for a while, huh? I'll call you. Thank you, Mr. Leone. Yep, sounds good to me. Keep my distance away from that guy. Yeah, that guy's nothing but trouble, but at least we did a little favour him back in Liberty City. At least him and CJ are on good terms. Okay, so it looks like there's a mission at Woozy's Casino. Yeah, I think that would be a good place to end this episode off, actually, as I can say my process. I think that would be a good place to end this episode off, I think. Okay, it's literally just here. All right, fair enough. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my progress here. And I think that mission will be a good mission to start with in the next episode. God, I do not want to crash. Actually, while I'm at it, while we're here, I'm going to quickly buy myself some body armor as well. I want to be very careful. I'm going to jump out of the plane. Ho, 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 I was lucky. What's up, it's your brother. Hey, what's up, man? You okay? Not really. I'm stuck in a cell between two lunatics. And people keep trying to jump me? This shit ain't cool, partner. You looking after Kendall? Nah, she looking after me. Right, right. That's cool. I'm gonna get you out of there, though, man. Oh, you ain't, nigga. Who do you think you are? I'm in for life. I guess I've grown used to it now. No, you not, man. I'm working shit out. Whatever it takes. That's a negative. I'm through hoping. Have a nice life, brother. Hold on, man. I'm getting shit worked out for you. Just hang in there. Sweet. Sweet. Shit. Sweet is seriously losing faith now. Ah, you like what you see? Barbecue each Saturday. Protect your home with our fake... Don't.
don't you just love the smell of gun oil? I feel I've got plenty of weapons and that after having a bit of the, doing a bit of an assault on St. Mark's Bistro, so I'm not going to buy myself any weapons. I do want to save up some dollars. I've got some nice few weapons here, so I think that'll do. Another phone call. Who's this now? Hello? Hey, CJ, what's up with you? Are we doing this heist or have you gone soft on me again? Hey, check it. Them fools been shipped out of the Venturas. Salvatore think I'm cool. So it's soon. I'll meet you back at the Dragons. Okay, cool. Later. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe. We'll keep updated with the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas episodes on my channel. And next episode, we'll go see Woozy. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. This is Goldie X, and I'm out.